Let's jump to Total War here with part three of my This Is Total War uh, Let's Play campaign for the Mark and Marnie for Rome 2. Alright, so previously, we've, uh, it's still a very difficult situation. I mean, we really haven't been losing many battles at all. I haven't fought, been fighting any battles manually. We're willing to if they were to launch an, an assault on Tullyferdum, but they just don't do it. They've just been sitting there for ages. I don't know why. Um... But it actually works in our favor because tying down essentially two factions with one of my armies while these guys are going out here mostly plundering, making us a little bit of extra cash so that we can invest back into Tullifodum or back into our armies. We just killed off the last Frisii army here. So that'll, that will mean that these guys need some time to recover before they come at us again. Buying us, you know, if they want to get two full stacks again, well, a stack and a half, they'll need. Um, let me just check. This is on legendary, right? Of course it is. Um, this is, yeah, probably buying us about five turns before they start coming out this way again. Um, I would really like to start conquering provinces out here. If I can get a little bit more cash together, I might be able to sit an army in here to defend it. What actually would be even better is to send an army out here to kill them. That way I wouldn't need anyone there. However, I would have to declare on war on Britannia, but I'd, this would be maybe a little bit more defensible. I don't know. We'll see how we go. We really want to limit the number of wars we're in by, you know, by not discovering people just yet. We've already discovered all the fuckers out here, so we might as well kill out this way without meeting any new people. Taking another walled settlement will be very helpful. No doubt about that. So I want you to come here. And you come over here. So we'll get our shit together and prepare to launch an attack. Got pretty good count coin at the moment. And I need my forces in good shape as soon as possible. So get your stuff together. And I'm sure people are going to ask, oh, when is he going to get better units? Um, I will totally get better units. Like, what I, what I intend to do is replace these guys with Swordmasters. But they're not available to us just yet. Um, when do they become available? Unlocks recruitment of Swordmasters through this building, Bronze Furnace. Okay. Which we can actually build here. So yeah, maybe we will build that up in, in this minor settlement. Well, the thing is, as we go down here, the, the, the garrison it actually becomes weaker. Like, you get better units, but I don't think it would perform better in auto-resolve. Spear Brothers are good auto-resolve units. That being said, when it's under attack, usually you'd have to fight it manually anyway. But I don't think we've got the technology to get to there just yet. These guys have been sabotaged. If they attack Virinium, we've got a few troops here to assist us as well. Now, looking at this, that provides four assault raider spear levy ships. That actually provides fewer. Only three. So we're better off with this. It's going to provide a little bit of extra money. Only a tiny amount, but six extra food certainly comes in handy. So let's look at this. Oh, but if you go further down this chain, you end up getting much better ones. Look, sword, heavy right, heavy raiders, sword masters, but that costs public order. That costs food. I don't know. I might actually go with raiders ports as opposed to fishermen huts. Eventually, I'm not going to build that right now because money's a little bit tight. So over here, I wanted to get this, but I don't know if I should invest in this province just yet. Or invest any more in it. Everything's looking good there. Probably would go with, let's see. We de if we have more food, we'll get more replenishments. So let's go with this. It's a small amount of money. But, you know, we're not exactly... We don't have a huge territory. And we need to account for situations where we might go into the negative in any given turn. Ready 
If we add up how much each of this these armies cost, 19 units at, you know, let's just say 50. What's that? Um, it's 1,950. No, 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 sorry, no, it's less than that, because if they're 50, 20, so it's like 1,000. It's 950 in all of these costs, plus him, 200. So it would cost 1,150 per army. We've got enough money for that, but the moment someone starts raiding out, our income's going to drop. So we just need to be mindful of how much money we've got, or how much money we could potentially have. So let's just let's just save up the money for the time being. All right, any more enemies to kill? No. We've got to be very ca careful in that you know we don't want to break that this is total war by not declaring war on someone just because they we became aware of well the game became aware of them before I did without checking. Yeah, extra replenishment would be good. And we also don't want to make a blunder that's going to cost us an army because this is very careful territory that we're in at the moment where we need to make sure our numbers are nice and high and concentrated because if we have to fight battles manually we are not going to do as well as auto resolve shall we hack at each other i'd Until like to in an, under normal circumstances them. i would but i can't accept that It's the same no matter what you do. I fucking hate it when they do this. It's like all three options, the results are the same. So next time I'll try it forbid and see what that does. Goddamn political. I hate the dilemmas in this. It's like, all three options provide a negative. Okay, well, whatever. So, they got a few armies coming this way. I am the knife in the dark. Oh, Father, be praised! How can I help? They have to cross this river, though. Oh, Father, be praised! How can I help? I think you should sabotage him. Because the That's next settlement I want to go for is this one. This one here is worth a hell of a lot more than these. Because of all the extra build slots, and they're, they're because the AI get loads of extra growth bonuses, that might already be, you know, four build slots already put in there. Warriors all. Now, if you force march, how badly was he sabotaged? Okay. Okay, good. This is... Right, the damage is pretty minimal. Move out. For the now, you stay here. Sword and, shield to my people. and you come over here. That way they're reunited. Ready for battle. If we attack him, he'll probably just run away. I want you to keep him sabotaged just so he stops moving. That's also another thing. If we raise another army, we won't, we won't have a lot of money for um, for agent actions. And the agents are, if anything, more powerful than our armies. Oh, we can upgrade this. We're in no position. I don't. I don't think we'd be able to get the um, these ones already. Yeah. So we we don't definitely don't have that technology. And we'd require timber. Where do we get timber from? I think this. Is, oh, we've got access to timber. All right. Now where was that technology? There. Okay. I think we should build one of them in everyone. In, in every province, so that if I do need to replace my, um, 
my, sh my sword masters that I can do so. This is of course thinking ahead. We're not at that stage yet. Once we've got sword masters, we can totally justify fighting battles manually because the way that the order resolve works, it it puts a lot more weight on lower tier units for their quality. Like you just get a lot more efficiency out of order resolve with low qu low tier quality as you do with high tier. With high tier units, you get lo loads more efficiency out of fighting the battles manually, which is why at the beginning of the campaign you see a lot of order resolving, and then mid to late way through the campaign, there's a lot of manually resolving once you get those higher tier units, which don't immediately break in combat, that basically fight to the death, that slaughter low tier units with ease. Okay, moving on. When do we get the next level of Imperium? Because that would be so useful. Oh, hang on. We're only in Imperium 1. So I'm hoping that with Imperium 2, which I think we just need one more settlement, we get, um... I am the knife in the dark. Uh, what do we get? We get the, um... Another spy. Because this spy here has just been my saving grace. Now, Share this settlement fire. here should be able to defend itself against this. However, we need to consider that they might just be like, I'm going to hire loads of mercenaries. So, you what sabotage him want? again just to keep him keep him tied down. They will learn to... You sabotage him. Before you do that, go down a little bit further down here. I want to know... They're recruiting pretty quickly. I want to basically make a rush down here and capture this before they get a chance to do anything about it. Come on the move. You keep him sabotaged so that he basically has to go home crying. Now this guy here still has to cross, cross the river. I might actually raise another army here just to provide defenses against him. Oh, you can actually reach him. Oh, because they're on force march today. Get moving. That way is shut. Oh, yeah, I can't get any closer to that. You're getting replenishment. Okay, so we start to raise our fourth army here now. No, not with you. Oh wait, that's one of mine. go with him. Sword Masters I think would be better. Although this is cheaper, so I'm going to go with that. Ready for Cuban for Recruit. Watch. And then, of course, no, not we Spear Levy. Good Club Levy. So that's going to knock off about 200 off our income, bringing us down to 1,000. But if we manage to capture this, that's going to increase our income. Should be worth quite a bit. This region here will come under attack again eventually, but since we killed their armies, it's going to take them a few turns to get back up to scratch. Good. Researching this will give us extra replenishment. That's going to help. And let's move on. So I'm hoping this army here just turns back around. The other army made it back here. They won't be able to hire mercenaries from here. But if I guess if they get on the land, then they will. Ready for orders. Yes. The shadows. Oh, father, be 
Second army should give us superiority here. Should also have enough. Yeah, we'll have enough movement to sack this and occupy it. There we go. Easy victory. And that will almost eliminate this faction. There's just one more thing we'll need to do. So the settlement here is pretty good. I would make a little bit of an adjustment. They didn't. Be, they didn't grow it very fast. Anyway, sack it. So I need the cash. Ready for battle. All father be praised. How can I help? Ready for battle. I'd want that to be the the coin maker instead, but that's fine for the time being. Or we could have this as the coin maker. That m I don't know. Doesn't really matter at this stage. Um. Still not sure if I'm actually going to hold this. Now, we might be able to eliminate this faction if you get assassinated. Excellent, they're gone. That's why I wanted to keep them locked down. What would you have of me? Okay, so... That's weird. We went into the next level of Imperium and nothing changed. So we actually need to get to here. Father be praised. Excitement at last. And given the situation, we should charge at them here. Our replenishment should be pretty decent. For the all highest. What Keep this guy suppressed. Was there ever any doubt? Okay, money's alright. You can recruit some more club levy. So you got that extra replenishment there. Yeah, I think this is going to be really helpful. Be just because of that minus 50% attritional loss if went under siege, because that would be a real pain. Oh, but it takes nine turns. We need something that's a bit more for our economy. That takes 14 turns, providing us with extra tax rate, reduced agent action costs, which is very good, and public order. Corruption's not a big issue at this stage. That would only take three turns to build, though, uh, to research. And reducing political incident occurrences by three uh, by 10%, I suppose that'll be very useful. All right, let's grab that. It only takes three turns, and the political incidence is is really irritating. Got pretty good food, providing us with extra replenishment, extra growth. Good. Start making our way up here. Take these motherfuckers out. Secure Swabia. Now we don't have to worry about our frontier down here because their armies are sitting up this way. I doubt they've got any more here. So you just you just yeah don't kill them. Just keep them locked down here. Because their Imperium would only allow them to have two armies. What do you want? Alright, moving on. Anything else you need to do? Spit those rumors. She fucks donkeys. Okay, what else? I don't think it hurt us right now to get ourselves how many members have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get ourselves another member. And how much money do we have? Yeah, alright.
Okay. That way, as a politician, he's providing us with a little bit of influence. Just a little bit. And with this political party, she's now pissed off at us, but we're... Our Imperium's too low for there to be a civil war. Okay, moving on. The gods shower me with blessings. So is that rating doing anything? It's minus 10. Oh, father, be gotcha, bitch. Good. So they're sending an army over here, but... How's our defenses? It's been built up. So, unless they're sending more than this, this is not a concern. Ready for orders. Actually, what I should do is have you come back here, because they might be bringing the, the next army over here. That would not be all they've recruited in this amount of time. The old father guides my steps. We've got the money that we can justify it. I'd like to protect our region. It'd be good to kill them. How can I help? Okay, come over here. The old father guides my steps. They merged a few of their units. Okay. Can't quite reach them. Public order in the province is good, but we gotta get moving. Excellent. That should be making these units dirt cheap. For the tribe. Yeah, costing us barely anything. Ready for orders. Stay in the province, Warriors but old. close enough that we could attack them and the Sedatava next turn. I am the knife in the dark. And just have a quick look down here. Sword and shield to my people. It might actually be better for us to sabotage this army here so that they don't interfere with us up this way. Because if they send both armies here, they'll probably defeat us. Yes. And that that army there is fucked. Pretty much. I like wrecking things. Good. I have seen it done. He needs cunning. The more cunning he has, the higher his chance of success. Good, the amount of damage he did there. If they came over here and attacked, we're in good shape to... Well, you know, if one of them came over here to attack. It would be good to hit this one. But... Let me have a look, actually. You know, I think we'd be stretching ourselves too thin. Good. And let's move on. Ha. Well, we can just order resolve that. Go with aggressive stance to hopefully wipe them out. Excellent. I don't know why they pulled off a stupid attack like that. Riot at the capital. Crush the riot.
These fuckers ran away. What would you have of me? Hmm. Okay. Let's find how's the public order here. Going downhill. Can't really justify lowering that. Actually, I could probably justify lowering it just a little bit. I think you need to maintain public order over here. If you say so. so just stay here for the time being. Oh, Father, be praised! How can I help? What? Heading out. On the move. Good, there's Saddam in the, the settlement. Which means you're fucking dead. You can win just with one army, but two's coming in. Sword and shield to my people. Yes, sack it. Gotta get that money. And damage can be repaired. Obviously, it does leave the settlement in worse public order. But you see, it's not so bad. Okay, now the woodcrafter here. Unlocks recruitment of German Ballista, which, don't get me wrong, I will want Ballista, eventually, but not right now. For the all highest. If we come up over here and take this, we finish them off, and that's another faction dead. Even if we don't hold on to these settlements, reducing the number of factions we're at war with is what we need to be doing. Even if the factions that we're going up against are stronger. How many settlements do we own now? Five. No full provinces yet. Getting close over here. We're we going with Imperium. Okay. And the rate of their replenishments lowish. Good, got 20 food, so we get, I think, the maximum bonus from that, although I think it was plus 5 and plus 10. So plus 5 growth and plus 10% replenishment is the maximum. So, I don't know. Okay, add Ferinium. I think we can justify doing that, because we've got a bit of money here, in here now. I don't think we're in desperate need of food. Just, just hold off. That. Okay, yeah, we'll build the coin maker here. There's nothing stopping us from building another coin maker here either. Increasing its garrison even further. You know, once it grows. I'll leave that there. And let's move on. I gotta admit. Going into this without the, the exploits, I thought was going to be a lot harder than this. I mean, Creative Assembly said this is the hardest start in Rome 2. And I, I would not, I do not think I'm using exploits here. Obviously, some people are going to say, oh, but you're just abusing, um, what's this? Why would, what is, what, what is going on? Why are they throwing these worthless armies at me? Like, I don't mind, it's good for me. What are they thinking? Um, you know, they say it was the hardest to start, right? According to them. And not only am I playing on legendary difficulty, but this is this is total war. Obviously, in the other campaign, I'm using exploits, and that's just it's a bloody walk in the park. It's just so easy. But not using the exploits, it's also pretty easy. Like it seems like the difficulty's gone now. Like, I'm not... I'm expanding, and I'm at war with all known factions. So, I mean, this is... I know this is what's going to happen, because it happens every time. It happened with the Epirus campaign. It's just like, people say, Epirus is the hardest faction, so I go and play Epirus. And people go, oh, no, Legend, no. Epirus isn't the hardest faction. The Markomania the hardest faction. Oh, no, no. You think the Markomania are hard? 
No, no, it's not the Marcomania that are hard. No, it's the RDA that are hard. No, it's the Seleucids that are the hardest. No, it's the Bactrians that are the hardest. So until I've literally played every fucking faction, people will be like, oh no, you're not a true Total War player until you've done this. It's the, the there is no true Scotsman fallacy, you know? At some point, you just have to go, alright, look. That's enough. I wouldn't have done this campaign if CA didn't actually make that video saying that they thought this was the hardest. And you watch, I don't think they'll promote this video. Now, why would they? Because I, I, I make them, I make them look bad. Yeah, they, they make it, they make, them, make the game look like it's harder than it actually is. How can I help? Come, sit, share my fire. To work then. Yeah, we want to eliminate this faction, so we want to try and keep them stuck here. I'll just put that. For the tribe, warriors. Oh, I didn't realize you took damage. Come sit. Well, here's what I can do. You stay. Ready for orders. You you move over here. They're not going to be able to reach us. Is that all? He'll be able to force march over there. I just have to be careful no one attacks us here. You stand here, that'll increase public order. You recruit the unit that was lost. I didn't even realize that was that happened. Yeah, you need to maintain public order here. Bring you back there. Because the thing is, it's like with the auto resolve, you know, abusing the auto resolve, you know, um, it's a game mechanic that's intended to be used. You know, I just know how the mathematics sort of. Don't, I don't know what the exact mathematics work behind the scenes with it. But I get a, a pretty good idea of what, what works and what doesn't work. Having a diverse army, doesn't matter for auto-resolve. Having elite units, doesn't matter. What takes into account is stats and numbers. You know? Manually resolved battles, obviously much more complex mathematics going behind it. But auto-resolve, I think it's a... Look, that, that it's probably a very complex code that has a very simplified output. Which I think is... If this is it's like the... It's like the worst result you could have. Like having millions of code, millions of lines of code, and it be divulged down to numbers win. That's it. Like it would be better to have a more simplified code that actually had a little bit more diverse results. Maybe like Medieval 2, where if you go into auto resolve, you're really rolling the dice. And that's what it should be. It should be a roll of the dice. And it's a little bit more like that in Warhammer 2. It's, so they're getting there. They're getting there. Alright, so what was I going to research? I guess that extra public order will come in handy. Same as the tax rate, reducing agent action costs, yeah. It's all good. If there's any text to actually increase my um, Imperium, I'd totally go for it right now because I need more... Um, actually, why don't you come down here to defend this because that's, that's safe. I need more agents. I don't need more armies. Well, not yet, anyway. I need more agents. Kimberly Bow Women. Yeah, I don't know. They're okay. I mean, I, I would actually say they're better than these just because of the extra range. Range is very important. And they're melee attackers better than the men, which I think that's a bit bullshit. Because, like, like, uh, look, I'm, I'm not going to go into it. Just on average, obviously, men are stronger than women. Physically stronger. But then again, these hardened women of Germany, or Germania, maybe they would be actually stronger than their men. What do I know? Man, these political occurrences are really annoying. 
All right, what is it? Bountiful Haunts. Make a votive. Okay. Come, sit, share my fire. If we sabotage them, we can weaken them a little bit, but I don't think we need to do that. Sending warriors all. Sending out two armies. Look, they've only got a small garrison here at Pelpin. This isn't a port settlement. Huh. For the tribe. Weird, because it's sitting on the, to their the port there. Besieging. Or on the coast. When your feet bleed, you can mow it. Our path is blocked. For the old father! And they're fucking dead. We should have enough movement to be able to snack it and occupy. But I think we're good for money, so I might just occupy it. Yeah, no, I'm gonna sack it. Good, another faction gone. See, we've reduced this list here, that's really good. That's what it's all about. Just because you have to declare war on everyone the moment you come and contact them, do contact them, doesn't mean you have to contact them, you know, right away. You don't go sending spies around going, Hey, how's it going? Declare war on me. Okay, so... Public order here should be able to be maintained. Relatively easily. You're maintaining public order. Okay, so what, what edict do we want here? Extra growth per turn. No, I think I need the extra taxes. Oh, Father, be praised. How can we'll I have plenty of time, I think, for these guys to get their shit together. What will be the next place to attack? This region out here is really out of the way. You basically get heaps of turns in advance knowledge of any troop movements out this way. Good. And also, all the people down here, we're aware of. Now, the Naha Naha Ravadahara, whatever the fuck they're called, they're all the way down here. So that's not their only settlement. We won't be eliminating them, but, you know, it's step what we need to do. What are the Ari up to? Because they were... I think maybe we should take take this capital, because that's going to be the most useful settlement. So come back down here. Protecting our secrets. You guys will have time to to replenish, and you'll come in and assist as well against this, I suppose. We've got money. We can afford more troops. I haven't had to fight a single battle manually yet. Don't get me wrong, if there's a battle worth fighting manually, I'll totally do it. But, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm making the best strategic decisions I can. It's not, these, this is sort of war campaigns are not about having fun. It's not about entertainment. If you like, if you want entertaining campaigns, watch my Rome campaign for Rome 2, which alternatively had a lot of water resolves at the start, but then there's a lot of manually resolves with my doom stacks at the end. The thing is, I, I think the main thing with this game is I've played so many hours, it's hard for me to play like shit, you know? I, I know what works and what doesn't work, and so being like, well, I'll just hire a diverse army right at the start, I'm just like, well, I know that that's a shit idea, because I've done it before, and I know what the results are of it. It's like, a difficult campaign. Yeah, but it's more realistic. It's, it doesn't resonate with me, With I don't care. You know what's realistic? No faction ever managed to conquer all of this prov all of these regions. That's re realistic. If that's what you want, that's, you're not going to get that from this channel. I'm a conqueror. I'm going to do what works. All right, let's move on. All 
I just know people are going to be saying things like, oh, Mogamoti's not the hottest faction, or yeah, this, this can't possibly be. He's using cheats, surely. He's using cheats. All you got to do, follow these exact steps. You can replicate it yourselves, okay? Maybe not quite as well as I can, because obviously I've got 2,500 hours in this game alone, and probably 10,000 hours across all Total War titles. I'm a veteran of Total War. Um, but more or less, I mean, I'm not having a difficult time with this campaign. If you think that you can, if you think this is too easy, or you think I'm cheating, just, just do it yourself. And you'll, you'll see, if you follow these steps, you can do it too. Sabotage him. Sabotage. I said I wanted to go after them next anyway. Success. For the all Great success. Okay, so. Share my fire. He's unable to make an attack. Is he critical? Okay, good. So what I can do here is I can force march both of them back, I think. Which one's more damaged? This one, you stay over here. And you stay there so that he, Just to make sure that he has a hard time getting to you. There may be more forces coming up this way. I don't know. Next turn, you'll meet up with them. Father be praised. Because another thing, like you want to get your doom stack, but it takes it takes time to to research. Well, like I said, we'll get there. All in due time. Just need, just be patient. So how many settlements do we have now? Six. I can't believe these guys just sit here. Order improving will increase tax rates. So I'm still undecided about this. I mean, that's going to cause public order problems. So that'll cause more public order problems, but that'll provide a lot of extra food. That'll provide more money and larger garrison. But this settlement here really shouldn't come under attack, so I think I will go with, with food. Food's very important. And with additional food, I can build that for additional income. Why isn't he repairing his buildings? They repair automatically over time. And you still get a decent effect out of them. So I'd only repair them if I was desperate. Plus, we got public order under control. I, I don't need to do it. But all this stuff is repaired. Now, at Trevor... I just leave that. I'm expecting that these guys are probably going to come over here and attack it again soon. Maybe... Maybe you should actually head back this way. Because if you're sitting in the settlement there, I'm confident that you can defend it. What's going down on down here? <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. Now, I don't think I want to occupy it, because that'll uh, bring me in contact with factions down there. But, you know, sack it. Let me just see, make sure we're not bordering anyone we're not aware of. No, we, we could occupy this. Alright. Well, 
You've earned your additional units. Uh. See, that's what we didn't see. No, you gotta get out of there. there there's no way in hell you're gonna be able to defeat that. If they attack this... We'll see, we'll see. Now look, they're going to take this. Just demolish everything. They'll take it. And then you need to get back over here, quickly. So that was maybe a bit of a mistake to come here. There's no way for me to have known that they were going to sit there. I am the knight. So even if I lose that entire army, I only hired that guy fairly recently. So it's not the end of the world. Let's move on. Wait, is there anything else I need to do? Actually, just thinking about it, I won't demolish all that stuff. Because I may actually come back here fairly soon. May I'll dem demolish that though, I don't need it. Keep that. So these guys here are the Dacio Thracian Confederation. They've got other people they're fighting as well, so they might just keep going to whatever they were doing. But it does make sense that they would try and attack this. Without, without a sufficient garrison, we'd get smashed. Like, if this had a proper garrison and an army sitting there, I'd take them on, but... Freshly conquered settlement? No, we gotta get out of there. Told ya. Okay, so here's how we save him. We go into the battle. And then concede defeat. Because if I order resolve that, my guys will fight. We don't want them to fight. We want them to to run away. So our losses were minimal because our reinforcements didn't show up. Just get them out of there. He survives. Did we replenish from here? No. But that's okay. I could actually raise another army if I just had the Imperium. What's this? How did they get there? I am the knife in the dark. Well, you two will be able to deal with this, surely. That that's pretty damn weak. I need to stop him, whatever. Where where the fuck is he going? So if we have a look at him, yeah, he's only at war with us, so I don't know what he's doing. But whatever it is he's doing, it needs to stop. Sabotaging. Yeah, you need to make another attempt. Don't you dare fail me again. Sabotage. Fucking turd piece of shit. They probably won't be able to make it there from that distance anyway. Twice in a row with good odds. Oh well, it happens. It's the end of the world. To battle! Oh, yeah! out. what level is he? He's only level 9, so next level up, we get him his final point, so that's... What's, what's this? Oh yeah. Can we get you more cunning? No. 
come over here. And we'll make this attack next time. I think I may actually need you to come down here. If they start making attacks against us. Well, the other army went back. So it's not a big deal. But I need you to come and spy on this. Public order is pretty good for the time being. It's only a matter of time before this comes under attack again. They will attack us soon. Do they have any other enemies? No, it's just us. Like I said, when we killed those armies over here, we bought ourselves a little bit of time. If I leave this area here, this settlement is destroyed. Losing this is not a big deal. This is sort of like our, our primary province now, sort of. Oh yeah, I could increase taxes. But we don't need to, we're, we've got it under control. I need to get myself some wine so that I can provide, you know, global public order bonuses. Alright, moving on. here. Okay. If we defeat them here and assassinate hmm. and you come back down here, see if they're still here. If you say so. I'm going. I'm a going. Losing the settlement doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Alright, I need you to take this first. So as I say, it's better to have fewer enemies than more. So let's see if this will eliminate this, um, this faction. thought so. They brought this guy down here, so assassinating him is not going to do anything. So you were better off sabotaging him. I don't really mind so much if these guys capture these settlements because they're already a big faction. I just don't want this guy re-establishing himself. I'll just put that there. Was there ever any doubt? Come, sit. So yeah, they'll probably capture one or two of these settlements. But we'll go back over there and deal with them. He took a little bit of damage, so merge that and replace it. I don't want this. Get rid of it. Keep that there. Now what I really need is more Imperium. I've got enough money for another army. There soon enough. I think we get a tiny amount of Imperium every time we win a battle. No new enemies? Okay. This guy here, he may hire all the mercenaries in the area. What kind of... It's mostly cavalry, so it's not going to be that effective. Also, losing any one of these regions will lose us the Edict. Oh well. Yeah, I was right. The max bonus is plus 5 growth, plus 10% plus 10 replenishment. So yeah, you need to stay there. Keep an eye on these guys. The garrison here is fully established. If they want to come back here with two stacks, we'd be able to repel them. Alright, moving on. For the tribe! So this is where that extra campaign movement range really comes in handy because they happen to move around all the time.
Good, I'm glad he came at us without... Um, without hiring all those mercenaries. Gives us a victory. And kills him there. Now all we need to do is assassinate that guy to finish them off. So they're going to take both of these settlements. That's fine. Did they sack it? They just sacked it. That's probably actually worse because it's going to cause major public order problems. Yeah, see, it assassinates them. Oh, wait, hang on. Manipulation. Chance of defecting. I don't think they can defect because... Was that in Total War Attila you can't go over the limit? No, in Total War Attila you can go over the limit, but in this you can't now. Pretty sure. Get rid of the well, look at that. I care about the cost. I want you to succeed. Yes. Good job, and that wipes out the faction. Oh, Father, be praised! How Come can I help? Sit. Share my fire. So he could probably force march to here. Oh, Father, be praised! Stand here for the all highest. You have further Ready order for orders. The old Father guides my steps. Try to get that extra garrison. Okay, that looks good. Over here. What? Yeah, see, here they are. I can't do anything about it. Oh, one thing we could do is raise a navy. Raise a fleet. I mean, it's not really going to help us right now. But a fleet could could possibly take them out. Hmm. Get you, raise a fleet. I think longbow hunters would be more useful. Spear levy. Well, if that's all we can get. Oh, hang on. If we went with this. Germanic. Oh, no, no, sling is sunk. Okay. They're actually more expensive than my goddamn infantry, but, you know, I, uh, my Imperium. I can't, I can't do anything else with it. I wouldn't be able to win that battle, but I probably would fight it manually just to try and thin them out a little bit. I... Oh, Father, be we got to focus on defeating How them, and I then... Mm. I need to increase my Imperium. Alright, moving on. Because if we defeat these two armies here, again, that'll keep them out of commission for a couple of turns. But I think it is it's time now to take out the Frisians. The chances of us actually winning this battle are basically nothing. thinking. Scout riders. I'm gonna sally forth. Here's, here's my here's my hope. If I could get them to shoot 
off all the ammunition of on the, on their artillery because you've just played dodge rocks. That it's that's basically two units out. All right. Um. Let's see where we're going to position ourselves. For one thing, I think we should hide. Our least useful person, Germanic tribesmen. They've got no melee attack, so they're trash. They've got bonus versus cavalry. Yeah. Keep these guys hidden. They're still just going to charge at us anyway, even with their artillery. They're not going to try and skirmish. Fair enough. The men are wavering. There's like no hope of victory here. Do what we can, though. An entire unit has perished. You know, it might have actually been good if their their artillery was. Well, they're not really pushing their artillery forward. There's no tactics I could do here to win. Nothing. Well, I've done what I can. Their infantry in wedge formation. If I can do some damage to their cavalry, I guess that's alright. Back at him. Get running! Our general is under attack. We are the Dark Forest. Germanic tribesmen! Gladimore! Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. No, no, don't, don't skirmish, bro. Oh, that's mine. Their cavalry. If we could wipe out one of their units, that'd be great, but you know, it's probably not going to happen. You have to wipe out like 95% of it. Spears! Warriors ready! We are losing ground. Duh. Kill, kill, kill! So we flank them here, and it doesn't, it's not going to do anything. See if you can wipe out this unit, that would be great to do that. All right. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Because even if we just wipe out one of them, that's more than what we would have done. Again, they could just replace it with something actually better, like a club that uh, we're, we're pretty much done. Here. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Our men flee the field of battle. I actually got a close defeat. Didn't... That unit there might be dead. You do this and you occupy it, you're dead. Oh, 
shit. We've got we got guys coming at us all over the place now. We had a good run for a bit there, but now they're they're being serious. Oh god, look at this guy, he's moving out this way. You looking at me? But he can't cross. Okay, so now we gotta be careful because money is becoming an issue again. This sort of what makes a bit of cash. So. For the all highest. Now this is a problem with having a big empire and having armies all over the place. This is not good. Because I, I just can't reach these guys. That's the big problem here. It'd actually be worth it, I think, to just let them take a bit, disband a few of our troops. Probably need to disband this. I'm going to have to increase taxes again. I do actually... I really want to send these guys around over this way to capture Flevium. Okay, there's no one there. This time what I'll get you to do is just come over here, sack the city, and then just come back. Because you'll never hold us. But sacking it will provide us with money that we need to hire the troops. Come sit. Get and, moving, come you and also, you get a bit of this. It's not bad. That pays for your army for a couple of turns. I don't think I can hold on to this. Cancel that. Because the garrison here... I've only got eight up against... You know what? I should have actually left it. I'll, I'll fight that battle manually and we'll try and win it. you're chasing after him. Because we'll be able to kill this one here. And then they need to come up here and take that. I should have done the other way around. Because he didn't take much damage. Because I want you to come over here and capture this. I suppose it won't be in great shape. Anyway, just get over here. Because if possible, I want you to actually come back and deal with them. If possible. I want you to come over here. You may need to sabotage him or him to keep them them back. Alright. Oh, look at that. Well past an hour there. I keep going a bit longer, right? Because I, I, I like to try and end the episode with things relatively stable. Ready for battle. Yeah, gotta reduce them upkeep costs. Money might get tight soon. We'll take Pelplin again. That's not gonna be a problem. The spirits tell us. Can't, sorry. Okay, nothing bad happened. Refuse. So they laid siege here. Well, that's fine. We take a little bit of attrition, but that buys us some time. Time to actually get down here and stop them. Because you can just reach there.
Please don't fail me. Fucking idiots. Good thing I'm bringing you up here as well. Only those touched by the moon would do that. Good. They won't be able to make the attack during the end turn. So I want you to come down here. Get to this point right here. Take him out. Good. And then you take this. And then we can resume the edict here. So we snack it and occupy. Good. We stabilized it a little bit. How are we going with this? We haven't met anyone else. At least we get two chances per turn to sabotage him. That's good. And our income's back up. Good to see. Public order is going downhill, but that's okay. We'll, we'll fix it. Because every time the spy succeeds, you'll just be able to provide a bit of extra public order. I don't know what's going on with him. But um, if he shows up in the region, we'll send someone over there to sabotage him. Just got to buy some time for my guys to, to get their job done. Summary-wise, we've still got to capture a few more settlements to get, to get there. Uh, the Hel... the Hel... the Helicii were the guys that sent that army, so we probably won't be seeing them here for a little while. I really should have left that there. Now I'd have to start that again. Because it would have just one more turn to go. It's not a big deal, you know. Minor mistakes. Um... I might go and check if I can sack that again. Anyway, we'll worry about that next time. So guys, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 4 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.